Hi, I'm here with Mike Fielsame from MikeFielsame.com, and thanks for your time. Oh, my pleasure to be here. We're just going to talk a little bit about uh, video, using video online and with your marketing. Mm -hmm. What are some of your experiences using video? Well, you know, I tell you, video is moving, uh, the technology is moving very quickly, and uh, it's getting a lot easier to use. So if, if you're not using video now, you certainly want to look into it. I remember um, one of the very first websites to really use video in, in, in the internet marketing uh, world was John Reese's Traffic Secrets. And he used it on a long form sales letter. But uh, back then, and he did a great job with it, back then you could really get away with um, you know, videos that didn't have the best lighting, the best quality. Just the fact that you were using video on your website was, uh, was pretty impressive. But today what I've noticed that it's, it's very, very important that if you're going to get into this game, that when you're doing uh, a video, you don't have an echo like this. And there's uh, even one of my websites that I, I have a partnership with, um, I've asked the person to redo the video because the introduction, he did a nice background with the green screen and everything like that. But what you're, what you're seeing is it looks like he's in this library with soft padded books and carpeting, yeah. yet it has the echo of being in, uh, you know, in, in a hallway or something like that. So I think, I think we really need to really focus on the sound quality and the production quality, the lighting, and using green screen effects and things like that are getting very, very popular. And um, using the latest ren uh, rendering tools so that you can get the best quality for the lowest bandwidth so it streams very good for people. Having, um, having players that, that, uh, that are very popular, when people go to a website, they don't have to download different players or, or watch it off the website. Um, these, these things are, are becoming more and more popular, and, and you're doing a good job getting that type of information out for people. Thank you. I know a lot of marketers like to use it for testimonials, but how, how do you like to use video for promotion of yourself or communication with your, your customers? Recently, uh, you know, right now we're somewhere in the middle of 2007. So if you were to go back to MikeFilsame.com and look at the last, um, I would say the last probably 20 blog posts that I have at MikeFilsame.com from February through, uh, through this month of June, you'd probably see 75% of the, of the blog posts included some type of either Camtasia video tutorial or, or learning information or they were a video of me talking to a camera or something like that. And I'm finding that um, it's bringing, it's that one step closer to working with, uh, building relationship with your people. When they can see you, uh, it really brings the trust factor up more. Uh, you're not just letters and print and email text. You're actually talking to them and they, they can see when you're talking from the heart and they can bond with you better. Okay, and have you tested using video for um, sales, such as replacing web copy with uh, video copy? Or? Yeah, right now we're, we're, we're currently doing a product called the Seven Figure Code. It's at the sevenfigurecode.com, and you're going to see a lot of video testimonials from, from people. And, um, you know, sometimes you just have to realize that uh, just because somebody gave you a video doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use it. Uh, sometimes the text will actually be better. Sometimes people. Um, they're not giving you really what you want. Like, for instance, some of these people were giving a testimonial as if we were going to be doing the event again. So the testimonials were saying, if you ever have an opportunity to go to, to a workshop like this with Mike, make sure you go. And networking was great. But we're actually doing a DVD course out of the video. So somebody giving a testimonial about networking really doesn't help the sales page. So it's not that you're insulting the, the person. Sometimes you have to leave the, the testimonial out. We have some that were six minutes that we've chunked down and we've done some quick transitions and we've chunked them down to about 30 seconds. Uh, so there are some post editing uh, things that you need to do for video that, that we do. But on our sales pages as well, uh, sites like viralfriendgenerator.com, we have done uh, a complete sales page on basically the squeeze page at first that pre-sells them. They really don't even need to read the sales letter after they see everything at viralfriendgenerator.com. It's um, probably a five minute video presentation um, animation through PowerPoint that allows people to see exactly what the tool does. They enter their name and their email address. They actually use the software in the process. They tell some friends and then they go over to the sales letter. At that point they really need to just order but we still have the long form sales letter there. Yeah. I did notice in, in the butterfly marketing manuscript, which you'll see a link for just mm -hmm. below this video, you did mention there are times when you don't, when you, <laughs> you don't use video. Um, yeah, in the butterfly marketing manuscript, I mentioned um, 
if you're teaching people uh, how to be affiliates, if you feel that you need to use video, you probably have a process that's too complicated. But you will find that sometimes um, if you're teaching people maybe how to put graphics onto a web page, you might just have to use like a Camtasia screen recording video to show them. But if, if possible, if you can do it without video, then you have a simple process. But if it does start getting a little complicated, you definitely want to use video. And just reading butterfly marketing and your, your whole system viral is, is one of the greatest way you get subscribers, you get people into your list. Now, YouTube has plenty of video on there that has um, viral impact. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about doing something like, you, you know, walking into a wall or something, something crazy, something Mike feels saying doing something crazy that goes viral on YouTube? Yeah, we think about it all the time. Right now, uh, give me a hug now, and we say, yeah, hey. right, yeah. What, <laughs> Free hugs. What's the thing that we're doing right now? Uh, that's um, oh, we're thinking of doing I'm a Mac and I'm a PC type of commercial, but kind of like um, I'm a guru and I'm an anti-guru, and just uh, we're, we're not really sure what we're going to do, but we might start poking fun at internet marketing and and some of the things that you know. Quite frankly, I'm I've been voicing a little bit about in my newsletters. I'm 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 not a big fan of the anti-guru and the people that hide behind Mr. X type of stuff. I'm friends with some Mr. X's and stuff like that, but um, they do it tastefully. There's some guys that just go out and they're just bashing the gurus and or you know, gurus is a label that most people put on other people anyway, but. Um, and all the while, they're bringing people, they're, they're still capturing their own herd. And they're, they're acting like a guru by telling people they're the anti-guru and things like that. So we're, we're, we're thinking of playing around with um, I'm a Mac, I'm a PC with the music, that type of theme, and start posting some of those things on the internet. Really, really poking fun, but having fun at the same time. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks very much for your time. Always, always valuable stuff. We Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Talk. Goodbye, Thank folks. You. Take care.